Are you ready to fire up a delicious steak sauce recipe? Well then get ready. This steak sauce recipe with a few simple ingredients is the perfect way to utilize your time while you're waiting for that steak to rest. Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac and we're going to dive into a steak sauce, a pepper and garlic steak sauce recipe. Buckle up, let's go. All right, so let's begin this steak sauce recipe. Grab a saute pan, put it over medium high heat, add a little bit of neutral oil to coat the pan, and roughly about half of a tablespoon or seven grams of butter. For this steak sauce recipe, you can use any type of steak that you like. You can use a ribeye, you could use a T-bone, a filet. For this particular recipe, I'm using a sirloin steak. Make sure the saute pan is nice and hot. Sear that steak on both sides. You wanna seal in the flavors. Plus, whenever you sear the steak, it creates those brown bits on the bottom of the pan. And those brown bits, that's the fond, and that is great flavor for any sort of steak sauce recipe. When you're done sauteing the steak, take it out, let it rest, and that gives you just plenty enough time to take care of a delicious steak sauce recipe. To start off with, if there's any grease, you'll want to degrease the pan. In this instance, there's no grease, so we'll start it off with one tablespoon of cognac off heat. Make sure that it's off heat. And then you can light it up. Make sure that you don't have anything above, around, or near that flame. Make sure to keep your all body parts away from it. It will burn you. Just make sure that you're very careful whenever you light up that cognac. You can give it a little bit of a shake if you like. Once that flame goes out, crank that burner back up to medium heat, grab a whisk or a spatula, give the cognac a quick mix and that'll help incorporate some of that fond. Now it's time to add a little bit of garlic, three cloves of garlic minced, around 10 grams. Take a flat bottom spatula or a whisk and mix up that garlic, give it a quick saute for around 30 seconds. Now it's time to start adding the liquids. We'll throw in a little bit of beef broth. Half of a cup or 125 milliliters over medium to medium high heat, you wanna bring this to a simmer. At the same time, grab a flat bottom spatula or a whisk. With the addition of that liquid, it's a perfect time to scrape the sides and the bottom of the pan to get all of that fond off. Reduce the beef broth down by roughly half. This will take around five minutes. Then we'll add heavy cream, half of a cup, or 125 milliliters. We're still over medium to medium high heat, you wanna bring this back to a simmer. And time to add a little bit of spice, some black pepper, one teaspoon or three grams. And you really can't go wrong with this pepper and garlic steak sauce. It's a great way to utilize the time while you're letting your steak rest. And then the reward is just absolutely amazing. Fantastic on the steak, even better on the fries. Grab a whisk, incorporate all the ingredients into the sauce. Make sure that if you see any little bits of fond on the side, scrape them off, get them in there, that's flavor. Reduce the sauce down for two to five minutes. Once it starts to boil, you'll want to turn it down to a nice simmer, keep stirring it, and you'll know whenever it's done, whenever you stir the sauce and it leaves trails and you can see the bottom of the pan and it coats the back of the spoon. At this point, you can remove the sauce from heat. It's time to throw in a little bit of butter, half of a tablespoon, seven grams. This'll add to that creaminess, make it a rich and creamy steak sauce recipe. Plus it'll give it a nice glossy type look. Make sure that you taste the sauce. You can adjust the seasoning at this point. If you need to add a little bit of salt, this is the time to do it. All right, so now you know how to make this pepper and garlic steak sauce recipe. Go on out, give it a shot. Come on back, let us know how it turned out for you. Well, thanks for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. Hope that you enjoyed the steak sauce recipe. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and to remember as always to live, love, and make gravy.